There was one woman of God from the United States of America. She wrote a book about dreaming patterns. So she contacted me and was arguing with me <laughs> on some of them. And I said, well, I, I like that. Bring your side. Let me bring my side. Because according to her, it is the Lord that gives dream. Why then do I say that you should be able to control, have control over your dream realm? Because if the Lord is the one giving you the revelation, you cannot have control over the revelation. And I agree with her 100%. But I like her to understand that there are dimensions. The dream dimension is also having dimensions. And those dimensions is there are dreams that comes from the individual. It is not from God. Why is it from the individual? That dream is not happening in your spirit. It's actually at the solica realm. And those dreams happen. For example, you are at the workplace and you close. Go home and you still see yourself at the workplace, still working. It's just from your solica realm. Example, you are married and you have a dream. And in the dream, you were married to somebody. But the person you were married to was not your wife. And you are already married. You should know that that dream is not from God. Sometimes it is from what we desire. You have a wife, but you saw another person and you liked her. You have desire for her. But as you have desire for her, you may see yourself dreaming about that person. Is that dream from God? It's from your solica realm. Why? Because the solica realm take advantage of our desires, what we think during the day, what we said. It, it combined, it joined the words together, the words we speak, the thoughts, puts everything together and give us a dream. That is how some of the dreams are formed. So dreams like this, you should be able to have control over them. Dreams like this, you should be able to be in charge of that dream. Nobody should, be ch should chase you in your dream. You should be the one chasing things. Those are the type of dreams I said, we should be control over them, not actually the revelations from God. If that revelation is from God, you cannot have control over it. If it is the Lord giving you that revelation, you cannot have control over that revelation because it is the Lord giving it to you. There are dreams that are situational dreams. I needed someone so badly. That was during the time we were to roof this church. And I had a dream. And in the dream, somebody gave me money. When I wake up, it was a dream. And those dreams, it was happening to me over and over and over and over. They are situational dreams where you find yourself dreaming about your situation. But when the situation is over, you stop dreaming about the situation too. So because you are thinking about the situation, your thoughts are normally picked. They come together to form a dream. You discover that when you have an issue with someone, you dream of that person. So a lady came to me and said, she always dream and see the mother-in-law using catalyst and chasing her to kill her in a dream. So I should pray for her. One of the things as a mature prophet asked her, do you have issues with your mother-in-law? And then she said, yes, daddy. We are not in talking terms. I said, no wonder. You see, because of that bitterness, that anger issue, your mother-in-law is having against you to you are having. So the devil has now given you those images, put them together just to increase the problem. For all you know, your mother-in-law don't have your time. It is an issue physically, but spiritually the woman don't see anything. But you see the woman chasing after you, that is because of the issue you have now. Solve that problem and you stop seeing your mother-in-law following you. And that's the truth. How did my mother got born again? My mother one day called me and said that she normally had a dream and I'm chasing her with a catalyst to kill her a knife that a very long knife to slaughter her she thought that i was going to use her for juju, a money juju money rituals and then i told her i'm not using you for i'm not going to use you for any money rituals <laughs> the dream is simple when you get born again it will stop the sword there is talking about the word of god and me chasing you is my because every day i was talking to her give your life to christ so it's not serious. That is the, the meaning, the interpretation of the dream. So there are dreams we dream that are situational dreams. They were not meant to happen, but they actually took place because of the situation we found ourselves inside. And sometimes too, some of the dreams during daytime, as we are walking around, information are being picked. Environments, the environments you see and all that. So some, they are registered in your mind, in your subconscious state. They are, they are all registered. When you now go to bed, they now use that and form a dream in your head. So there are some dreams that you need not to pay attention to because they are, they are not dreams from God. But those dreams, you can equal control. You can be in charge of what is happening in those dreams. You can grow spiritually. You can get mature spiritually to understand that nobody should be able to chase you in your dream. We chase things. Things don't chase us. If you are chasing your dream, don't say it was just a dream. It is a sign that spiritually you are not strong. You can be praying and fasting and yet you are spiritually weak. How you do it is what matters. I had a dream and in that dream a snake beat me and I also held the snake in the dream. Lift him up and beat him.
and put him down. And he begin to sever and die. I'm poisonous than a snake in a dream. That's what I'm saying. Being in charge of your dream, I'm talking about that. Not coming out of the dream as a casualty. And you are now, you now need to pray to solve the problem, to correct it. No. Even in the dream, you are in charge. In the dream, you are the one who beat the person. You were not beaten. So sometimes, you see, some people will have a dream and then th things are chasing them and they will run. Ah, when they catch them and they are, they are now slaughtering them, they say, oh, thank God, it is a dream. So it's not good news. What happened is that next time, make sure you grow and make sure you develop yourself to understand next time you will be able to dream and you will be in charge of that dream. Whenever you have a nightmare or whenever you have a dream from the law and it is not good, it is actually the Lord warning you of the plans of the devil. Dreams from the devil will not actually be a warning to you. Any dream, either you have a dream where you are dead, you had a dream where you were beaten by a snake, you had a dream where you were shot by people, you had a dream where you were robbed, it does not matter. Any negative dream, it was actually the Lord, the Holy Ghost, that warned you. Because the devil will never warn you if he's about to do something evil to you. Like I told you the last time, why will I warn you that I'm going to kill you before I killed you? Those who actually meant to kill you, don't tell you. You don't know them. That is how the devil is. So whenever you have a dream and it is a negative dream, you should understand that it is the Holy Ghost that brought it to your attention. He's telling you that this is what is happening. Sit up. So don't get up and ignore it. Dreams are revelations from God. Some of them are from ourselves. Do the devil give a dream? Yes and no. The devil can mislead you but not warn you in a dream. The devil can mislead you and bring a picture to you. If the devil can speak audibly and if the devil can give a vision, he can equally give a dream.